Hi everyone, this video goes along with the presentation I did on outliers in regression. So how do you plot residuals versus predicted y and residual versus explanatory variables in SPSS? First let's look at the types of residuals you can get in SPSS for linear regression. Uh, we talked about two in that previous video, what we call the standardized and the studentized. What we call the standardized is what SPSS calls the studentized. We call the studentized is what they call studentized deleted. These two are the best for outlier detection. A lot of students on the courses use this uh, what SPS is called the standardized. Now it says here it's got a standard deviation of 1. Now that's not actually true. It's got a standard deviation approximately. Okay. So a studentized and the studentized deleted what they call are the better ones to use. Let's say we're going to get the residual plots. Okay. First we fit the regression. So we'll go to analyze regression linear and then take the dependent variable in the dependent box and the two x's I've got here I'm going to put them into the independent box. Then I'm going to click on plots. Right, you can see they have got a y-axis and an x-axis. This is different from dependent variable and explanatory variable. Y just means the vertical axis, x stands for the horizontal axis. So we always want to put the residual on the vertical axis. Here are the residuals on the left panel and the code I've already gone through in the previous slide. So we want our students to have deleted for outlier analysis and we'll have the standardized y, predicted y on the x-axis. If I wanted to have more than one scatter plot I can click next and you can just repeat. So say we're done then we just click continue and OK. For this that box there you can only plot the residual versus predicted y's, not the x's. Let's show you how to plot the residual versus the x's. I go back to the regression box. I'm going to have to save the residuals this time. You can see that I can save all five types of residuals. We'll just pick one of them. We could pick more than one. We'll go for the unstandardized, either the raw ones. And let's say we want to plot the raw residuals versus the X. Let's save it first. Continue. OK. Right, and then let's look at our data view. You can see now I have an additional column. That's the raw residuals. I can go into graphs and chart builder to get the residual versus the X choose the scatter plot option which is in the left panel scatter and then yep select the simple scatter and now it's a case of just dragging what I want so drag the residuals to the vertical axis and either of the X's onto the horizontal axis and then I'm done really I just click OK do this one if you want to look for nonlinearities or see if the variance is proportional to the X's that's your simple basic residual plots.